most of the what people would say were really phenomenal events that have happened in my life, I experienced them first in my heart. Sometimes years, sometimes decades before I ever experienced them in this life. So if you've already experienced something in your heart, then what happens is when it, if it's going to manifest in this life in some kind of way, what's going to happen is you're going to recognize it when it starts happening because you already, you've already been there. You've already seen it. You know what it is. You get encouragement, you know, from hearing other people share their testimonies, but I want your faith and your peace to come from the fact that first of all, you have seen it in the word of God. And then you have brought that into your heart and you have seen and experienced it in your heart. And I'm telling you, when you see and experience anything in your heart, it is going to be as real as it's ever going to be. So now at some point, I don't ever try to figure out when it is. At some point, I just know this. I'm going to say, I'm going to hear the voice of the groom saying, come away, my love, I'm waiting. And in that moment, I will either trust him and follow him and end up meeting him in the air and then going to the wedding feast. This, and so this is where you actually become the bride of Christ. You go to the wedding feast, uh, you know, you know the, the, the real marriage takes place. You become absolutely one with him. You put on a new body and all this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. You're transformed. And so, uh, and then you come back and you're part of the army that goes with him to destroy the Antichrist. And you rule and reign with him over the entire world, but you rule and reign in justice because now you've been transformed fully. Greed is not driving you. Selfishness and lust is not driving you. It's going to be a fair and just world that the wicked are still going to hate, mm -hmm. by the way. So remember, when we talk about heart physics, we talk about fully persuading your heart riding this on your heart. You get this where this is so real in your heart. As far as you're concerned, it's already happened. It's, it's so real, it can't be taken away from you. Nobody can interrupt it. Nobody can stop it. You start just picturing yourself, however you want to do it. I'm walking down the street and just kind of let that become real to you. I'm walking down the street, looking around, you know, pay attention to what you see, what you smell, you know, just, just get it real. And then when you're ready, Start imagining and picturing that you know, I'm kind of feeling something inside me. I'm kind of, you know, I'm kind of having a sense of God kind of stirring me inside. And so just imagine however you want to do it. You know, you may stop and pray or you may just stop and stand still and wait. But then, st then realize however you do it, that there's no one way to have, uh, realize either the hearing the words or having the sense Jesus is calling me to meet him in the air right now and get that as real as you possibly can and then say whatever you want to say here I am take me Lord Jesus whatever it is you want to say but the key thing is you want to experience yourself saying yes I, here I come I'm ready and then just imagine yourself zooming through the air and at, at some point you recognize his glory is so spectacular that you see yourself approaching the glory of the Lord and you know that you're going to meet him personally and then you can take this however far you want to take it you can take it to where you meet him you can I mean it doesn't matter or you may just stop there and then go back and do the whole thing again I'm telling you you want to do this over and over and over again until it becomes so real to you it's almost like it's already happened and, and once this becomes real to you, your heart will be prepared to respond to the voice of the Lord. So what I'm wanting to do, I, I listen, you know, the patience of the saints, I, t I talk about this in one of my messages that'll be coming out in cyber church, but you know, the patience of the saints depends on a couple of things. Number one, well, actually, if you couple together what's going to happen all in all the patience of the saints is crouched in the fact that we're going to win 
devil ain't gonna win antichrist ain't gonna win we're gonna win that, that that's the patience of the saints and you see you know by the way in this in that particular message i talk about five different times that the world was ready to go over the edge and be destroyed forever and still every time god's people win every time we, we you know we always we always come out on top so knowing that we're going to win that means yes the antichrist is going to be destroyed and yes all these promises about heaven all these promises about the bride of christ all these promises about the marriage all these are real and i'm going to i'm and i'm going to experience them see people that have that kind of sense of god and that kind of sense of strength they don't get discouraged and if they do it's only for a moment they overcome they're always filled with hope and faith because because they always know i know what the end is you can do what you want to kill me if you want to do whatever you want to because i know in the end I win, you lose. Mm -hmm. That's the patience and the faith of the saints. I want to equip everybody I know to be ready. And, and you gotta be ready. If he just says, come to me and you go, okay. Now that may not mean it's the end, that, that is the end, that's the marriage feast of the, but it may mean that you are going to get transported out of that danger that you're in and i mean this this happened in the bible mm -hmm. and i you know i actually know of people that this has happened to here in this life so we're equipping ourselves to meet the lord and if you don't equip yourself to do it i don't know that you'll be ready to respond in faith when he calls you if fear overtakes you, you won't. If too much love for this world overtakes you, you won't. If too, if your heart belongs to too many things in this life, you won't. You got to be ready to go. If you got to call today and said, "Let's leave. Let's leave today," yeah. would concern about your kids will that stop you well if it if it would you better get busy teaching them what i just taught you teach your spouse teach your friends teach everybody you love get everybody you love get them ready get them living ready to leave <laughs>